What's going on today, YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to clean, actually physically clean the inside of your computer. So there's gonna be a few things you're gonna need first. Um, I suggest a screwdriver. You don't always need a screwdriver, but it's always good to have. Uh, a toothbrush, preferably not one that's been used, but it is newer. And air duster or dust off, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, the more the better for when it comes to dust off. You first want to pull off the top of the computer. Now, there's a few different things when it comes to this. Um, a lot of PCs will actually have a screw that you need to undo on the side, or it could be on the top. And it's generally one of in one of the four corners of the area that you can pull the top of the computer off of. Uh, so you're first going to want to undo that. Mine's simply just screwing it off. Fortunately for me. So you put that over there somewhere safe and then generally when you're taking these off you want to slide it outward and you'll generally hear a pop and then you can pull it right off. Now in my case um, there's actually LEDs connected so you can see there's a wire that goes directly into the PC. You want to really be careful when you're taking these off because sometimes you can just end up literally ripping this directly off of your computer. In this case we're not going to pull this part right now we're just going to set that over to the side and then you're gonna see the inside of your computer. Now, don't be intimidated. When you first open your computers, there's gonna be wires everywhere. You're gonna see power supply and the actual motherboard of your computer. You're gonna kind of look around. You wanna see where the most of the dusty areas are gonna be. Um, it's generally gonna be the fans in this case. Like on my CPU's fan, you can kind of see uh, the dust that's forming around there. So, like I said, you're just going to give it real, real light sprays. Um, when you're actually spraying it, though, stay a little bit back because the dust is going to become flying at you. So we're just going to go ahead and spray the inside here. Just going to give it one, one big general spray all around. We just want to get all that really, really loose dust out of the way. And when you're doing this, you'll actually feel these get really, really cold, almost too cold to even handle. So that's why I buy multiple ones of them because you can just switch in between them once one gets way too cold to hold. So we'll just do one more. Basic general spray, just like that. And now it's actually time to dig into the computer. Now, um, when it comes to the, the dustiest things, you're gonna see here, like I said, uh, depending on where the fans are in your computer, they're generally going to be the worst. So, wow. And this thing sure isn't spraying. All right, there we go. So, you even want to get those fans the best you can. Also, just an FYI, is that a dead fly? Jeez. You want to, um, well, you really don't have to worry about the liquid that blows out. That's just the accelerant of the actual air duster itself. So, it's generally pretty bad for plastic, but when it comes to metal and the inside of your computer components, it's not going to be too bad. So don't worry too much about that. It's a day now. There we go. This one's a lot better. All right. So once we get the fan, that fan cleaned off, we'll clean up this inside fan right here. We'll get that real good. Once that is cleaned off, <clears throat> This is when you start getting more into the individual components of your computer. Now, we're going to give the air duster a break here and dig into the actual motherboard. So when it comes to the motherboard, you're just going to want to kind of gently move, you know, the wires out of the way and then just take your toothbrush and just gently go over areas that you see dust is building up on. Um, why you want to do this is because when every time your computer starts up, it essentially sends a spark through all the circuitry in it as well as this cylindrical wiring. So any dust components that could be on pieces of the computer that essentially spoots it up could cause some serious problems if you don't give it regular maintenance. So, you know, I don't suggest cleaning it every month or anything like that. Just every few months, once a year, you just want to make sure that you clean it out. So we'll just go ahead and dust off the motherboard here.
you're gonna undo your ram chips here now you're gonna they're probably bomb well, they might look like this but they're gonna stick out of your computer most of them will be green and you'll see little black uh module chips on the side of it however to actually take it out you're gonna see these little clips on both sides of the actual ram card um all you got to do is reach down and just pop one and then go ahead and pop the other now don't be afraid to give this one a little yank to pull out some come out easy some don't but in this case mine came out real easy so now that i got the ram chip out i'm just going to give it one easy spray especially along the bottom and then we're going to spray out the inside bottom of that and then once we're done with that we're going to put it in just how you pulled it out uh bear warning you can see the bottom of the actual chip it always has a little line in the middle you just have to line that up with the actual uh insertion area for the the ram chip down there and in this case it lines up perfectly like that so that's exactly the way i'm going to put it back in now like i said don't be afraid to apply a little bit of force when you're putting these back in you can push down a little bit harder and you want to hear these clicks on the very side so we're going to go ahead and do this for the next one and we'll go ahead and go over the next component after that all right now we have both our ram chips back in now we're going to move on to our next area um, of your computer now not everyone is going to have a graphics card so we'll go ahead and go over that one last but uh, we'll go over both your hard drive and your power supply now everyone's going to have a hard drive basically all you really have to do for the hard drive you're not going to be unplugging it or pulling it out or anything like that i have multiple hard drives in this case so you might not see three of them sitting in there like a solid state drive and two hard drives but all you're going to really do is just take your air duster and blow into it then we're also going to take an air duster with one of these cute little red straws and we're going to blow deeper down into there because there are fans that actually do um, run your your hard drives so it's good just to kind of shape them up a little bit and get whatever lingering dust is in those out of there perfect now a lot of computers will be different however in our case here there is a fan that is located directly behind the hard drives now like i said in all cases it may be different in other cases but all you're gonna really do is take on the outside of the fan and just go ahead and just give it a gentle blow and get that dust lingering in there off and in my case for my computer unfortunately they built it really deep in the back of there if you can see it right back there so we're just going to take this uh the air duster with the red straw and stick it in there and blow it off now it's time to move on to our power supply now these are not always necessarily going to be black. They could be multicolored gold. Uh, I know most default computers have it where it's just white and silver. So it'll generally be a bigger box at the very bottom. It'll be on one of the corners of your computer. And generally it'll be on the bottom where it sits because if it sat on the top and you stood your computer up, it would fall and crush everything else. So the first thing you're, you're gonna wanna do is uh, take the power button at the very bottom and just switch that right off now that's just to ensure any lingering electricity that may still be in the actual computer itself is just turned off that's all that is now this outside panel right here all you're gonna do is just take your toothbrush and just gently brush it all off kind of get on the inside there now all right now that we've go went ahead and brushed this off uh, it's actually rather difficult to take off the power supply, pull apart this power supply just to get on the inside of it. So all you're really gonna do is you're just gonna take your, your red straw. I mean, you can generally stick it in the holes in there and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna blow off the dust in there. Don't go too crazy with it. Um, this is one of the parts of your computer that they make it extremely difficult to get to the inner components of it. And you're just gonna gently 
very very gently blow out the dust that's lingering inside of there and we'll just take one main spray like that and get that off now when it comes to around the power supply you can just simply brush it all off and then take your air of course and blow it off now like I said, don't go too crazy with your power supply. There may be a lot of dust around it and it may also have a fan, but you really just want to be able to get inside the components and just give it a blow. Generally, the dust lingering on the inside will just come right out. We also have a side here and that is also where the fan is located. So we're just going to blow this out. And then that's that. Like I said, if you guys do have liquid coming out of here, don't worry about it, it's only the accelerant. It's not meant to harm your computer, otherwise they wouldn't recommend it for computers in the first place. All right, so like I said, not everyone has a video card, so we're just gonna be doing the outside fans of the computer. Generally, these are the things that get the dirtiest, so. So this is where you're really gonna wanna brush good and hard because it's really just a fan in a steel box. So I'm gonna brush on the outside here. Get all the loose dust out here out. Once that's out there, now what you're gonna wanna do is brush on the inside portion of it. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'll show you here, you never wanna blow the dust back into your computer. You're always gonna wanna blow it back towards the outside. Otherwise, you're really just starting yourself from square one. All right, so now we're gonna give it a good brush to the inside portion of the fan here. Finally take our spray and just spray it outwards from the computer. Boom, now once we've cleaned this fan, you, you can go ahead and stop it and kind of look around. There isn't gonna be too much lingering dust. Anything that's left, I really encourage you not to be too much of a perfectionist. Just leave it for now. Uh, there will become a day where more dust builds on it and then that dust that's currently in there will get a lot looser the next time you go to clean it. Finally, it is time for the video card. Like I said, now everyone is not gonna have this video card. So if you don't have the video card, I will go ahead and put a time at the top of the video where you can skip to and I will also try and put a button there so you can just skip right to that and you'll be able to move forward towards on how to finish up cleaning your computer from here. So first, what you wanna do with your video card is you wanna just take out whatever power cord you have uh, directly plugged into it, and you're just gonna to wanna to put that to the side. Don't take it out of your computer, of course. Now, for me, I actually have a screw that is directly down inside the computer, and unfortunately for me, uh, this had some pretty cheap uh, bolts or plastic holders for the actual video card itself. So this is where our screwdriver is going to come in handy. If you're taking out any screws part of your computer, like I said, it's always nice to have a towel on the outside so you can just kind of put it in there and you know exactly where it's at. Now, when you're pulling out your video card, I highly suggest taking it from the very bottom like this and then pulling out, you know, towards you that way. You never want to kind of pull from the top because that's when you start squeezing the components of the computer or the, the components of the video card and you can end up ruining a lot of things. Now, real quick, just like our RAM modules, sometimes there is a little uh, holder at the very bottom of the computer which allows you to click the video card in. Um, not all of them have them, but if you do have them, generally they're on both sides. You're gonna wanna push that downward, not too hard, but down, downward just enough where you know that it'll loosen up on the video card. So now we'll go ahead and pull out the actual video card itself, nice and gentle. Uh, you can put a little bit of force on it if it's not coming out, but never go too hard on it. Now, once we have our actual video card out, um, mine specifically has its own cover built into it. Now, I haven't had this video card for too long, but if you have had a video card for a while, there is a way to take off this actual cover itself. Um, I would highly suggest looking into your actual video card's manual on how to pull this off, and then that way you can get on the inside of it really, really good. For me though, I'm gonna be just giving it a very, very basic blow and brush. So, we'll go, I'll go ahead and clean this off real quick.
Now you're gonna wanna take your actual air duster and then just blow on the inside and just kind of get any dust in there that you can but like i said if you have to take off your cover go ahead and look into how to take that off and then you'll be able to clean it better that way all right so now that we've given our video card a basic blow over we're going to go ahead and put this back in um like i said if you have the clip at the bottom make sure that you are going to be able to seal this back in with the clip go ahead and push that back down real gently you will see at the very bottom there there was a click now i'm going to take my screw and i'm going to put that back in to seal the video card back into place So once we have our video card screwed back in and it is placed and sealed inside the computer again, you just want to make sure all the components that held it in place are back in their exact order and in a spot where your video card isn't going to be loose when you put it back up. And we'll go ahead and just power, plug in our power supply again, bingo. Now the inside of our computer is nice and clean, it's to the point where we've done our you know semi annual monthly maintenance yearly if you want to call it that way or if that's what you do not a problem so finally when you're done cleaning every single component of your computer like this you're just going to want to give it a basic blow over again finally you're going to want to take your computer's outer lid and if there is a fan you're going to want to blow that off on the inside and seal it back onto your computer. Uh, generally, there's a way to seal it back on. You wanna put it on a little bit towards the outer rim of it and then slide it back in like that so that there's a click. And you're gonna to wanna to screw in whatever outer piece that you have to keep your, your actual computer lid in its place. Just like so. We're gonna go ahead and spray off the top here. Take a cheap brush, get all this guck out. And boom, we have finally cleaned our, the inside of our computer physically. Now, if you wanna go the extra mile from here, this is also why I, ha I had this out here. You spray the actual paper towel with Windex and then just gently rub it all over. Um, I'm not gonna do or add that to the video because I'm pretty sure all of you know how to use actual cleaner. But you do wanna go back over all the little parts of the outside of your computer and just give it a nice brush and use the air duster just to make sure that it's nice and clean. And boom, your computer is finally nice and clean. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a bottle of Windex and other cleaner and just kind of make sure and give this a nice shine on the outside so it looks just like it did when it first came out of the box. But thank you so much for watching my video. As always, stay beautiful, hit that subscribe button, like, and show me your love. I absolutely love my fans and I can't tell you much how I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a good night, my YouTubians.